Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So before getting into this, I want to tell you that uh, I am going to prepare NPTEL final exam preparation videos, guys. So there will be uh, nearly 250 to 300 MCQs, maybe more than that if possible. So we can just get for that just 89 rupees per month membership only as a student offer i am giving for 89 rupees because many people i think many people are doing that are students so for just 89 rupees you can get these mcqs it is completely nptl based syllabus guys there is no deviations only complete focus on nptl syllabus only so you can bet get very lot of benefit and better preparation i hope for the final exam so the course is air pollution and control so the path to join just go to our channel home page so beside this subscribe button there is join button right so go on, go and click that so you can get three types of packs you can uh, either select 119 rupees pack or 18 pack in 119 pack if i upload any live videos you can get that but if you want only recorded videos you can get uh, get that for 89 per month pack so select on 89 per month and click on join so that's it you will become member of our channel and the other thing is that not only that course you can get all the courses that i upload for just 89 that 89 rupees only there is no extra cost and with 89 rupees you can get uh, the air pollution course and also the all the courses that i upload so it is very best offer guys no one will give for that cheap price and no one will upload preparation videos also and that too in the form of mcqs not just the content uh, it is very useful for your exam uh, pattern also because you will get mcqs right so i am making this content in the form of mcqs and giving for you so it will be very beneficial for you just 89 per month pack so hope you you use this opportunity and if this is your semester subject then please inform this to your friends also and classmates uh, to join in this membership and make some joinings to our membership so that will help me to encourage to give better more videos for the next part of the videos because i am making the preparation videos in parts so by weeks for four weeks one one video or for six weeks one video like that so there will be at least two two parts or four parts of a particular course so for better videos i will uh, it will be helpful for me if you join more members so if you are interested in this exam preparation exam ready videos so you can go and join as i said so let's get into the video now already many people have joined here guys so i am showing just eight persons because it is not possible to show all the members so you can join as i said in the above steps so let's see the solutions now so this is air pollution and control course week 8 assignment guys so let's see the first question in the case study entitled indoor air quality in nursery buildings so which of the following methods was not included they are not asking the included ones they are asking not included in the study of study for improvement of indoor air quality so the answer for first question is option 4 ultraviolet germicidal irradiation uvga it is not included in study for improvement of indoor air quality so next question in the case study entitled indoor air quality in nursery buildings which of the following methods was most effective way to reduce the concentration of pollutants actually for second question uh, i'm not 100 percent sure but it is not exactly mentioned but as per my understanding according to the lecture they have first given the most effective way is installation of ventilation but they not mentioned new ventilation they just mentioned ventilation system and followed by air purifier so i think according to the preference maybe option c is the answer i hope 
guys if you can confirm that you can please uh, give your answer in the comment section but i think option c may be the answer for second question for remaining questions we know the exact solution so i think for second question also the maximum this is the correct answer because they did not mention it directly i am saying that i am not sure exactly 100% but i think 99% this will be the answer so if anyone uh, having confirm understanding about this you can please agree with me or if you disagree for any other solution you can give that solution also next question tropospheric or ground level ozone is not emitted directly into the air but it is created by dash dash reactions of its precursors in the presence of sunlight so they are asking the ground level ozone is not emitted directly into the air but it is created by some reactions what are that reactions they are asking whether it is hydrolysis reaction combustion photochemical or convection so the reactions are photochemical reactions so mark third option as correct answer for third question and next <coughs> moving on to the fourth one which of the following international treaties that means some agreements made between the countries right so some there will be some rules to follow like that which of the following international treaties significantly decreased the ozone depleting substances and was effective in healing the damaged ozone layer so what is that treaty that means agreement so what is that agreement it is montreal protocol montreal protocol so let's move on to the fifth question now so the fifth one which of the following greenhouse gases guys ghg means greenhouse gases greenhouse gases ghgs so which of the following ghgs is the most important long lived forcing of climate change so they are asking the most important long lived forcing of climate change gas so which of the following greenhouse gases is the most important long lived forcing for climate change of climate change so the answer is third option co2 carbon dioxide is the most important long lived forcing of climate change so next question sixth one methane means ch4 so which is considered as the second most important anthropogenic greenhouse gas is mainly emitted by in simple words they are asking that methane is emitted by that is the simple question methane is emitted by which of the following so it is 60% of methane is emitted by agriculture and waste 60% of methane is released from this agriculture waste right so mark fourth option and next question the seventh one long term shift in temperature and weather patterns is called as referred means it is known as or it is called as like that so long term shift in temperature and weather patterns is called climate change climate change is the answer for seventh question and moving on to the eighth one the urban center that is warmer than the surrounding less polluted area if there is any polluted area i mean less polluted area near you so if the given area is warmer than that center or warmer than that area less polluted area then this it is called as so what it is called in that case so the answer is heat island heat island
and moving on to the ninth question now acid rains results when dash dash and dash that means there are two compounds uh, due to that as acid rains result so acid rains result when dash to i mean when these two uh, compounds are emitted into the atmosphere in that meaning and react with atmospheric moisture and oxygen to form acids so what are the two compounds that will emitted into the atmosphere so due to that it will cause acid rains so what are the two elements reason for acid rains so the answer is sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides here x represents 1 2 3 like that it's a number actually so sulfur dioxide and nitrous uh, nitrogen oxides so these are the uh, main reason for acid rains next final question of the assignment that is 10th question acid rain leaches dash from the soil which results in toxic effect to the root tip leading to the root stunting accompanied by reduced water and nutrient uptake guys no need all this question for in order to uh, understand this just acid rain leaches dash from soil so what i mean which of the given elements is leached from the soil by acid rain that is the main question so the answer is option 1 aluminium acid rain le leaches aluminium from the soil so mark first option so that results in toxic effect to the root tip so friends these are the solutions for week 8 assignment so hope this video helpful for you please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends and as i said uh, above if you want the exam preparation videos and get better prepared for the final exam you can go to our channel page and click on sub the join button and there select 18 and pack or 119 pack and click on join that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all these videos not only single video there are many videos i have uploaded you can get access to all these videos so guys that's the uh, video for this week so until the next video goodbye thank you and if you have any doubts you can please ask me in the comment section regarding membership or regarding this assignment so until then goodbye thank you